When questioned, 47% of women living in London say they'd leave their partner straight away if he hit her. In reality, it takes an average of 35 beatings before they actually report the violence. Does this mean that she's been shouted at 35 times, disagreed with 35 times, or hit 35 times? Despite the BBC's inaccurate use of the word beatings, there's no way of knowing. All right, and, okay. I, and, I've, and I've been beaten up that night and I didn't press any charges okay. against my wife, you, right? You can make allegations about that. Most of the complaints of domestic violence they get are from women. Occasionally, they deal with men abused by women. But the injuries tend to be far less severe, and often these are counter-allegations. But of course these are going to be counter-allegations. Men are highly unlikely to report domestic violence they receive from women, and this is well known. The Sunday Times and the Los Angeles Times independently estimated that men were about nine times less likely to report domestic violence. The most reported domestic violence would be the men, naturally. But I think women commit a huge amount of domestic violence. That doesn't get reported. The old Andy Cap, wife of the rolling pin. Um, the very fact it's a stereotype suggests that it is the common experience of most men, that <laughs> the wife with the rolling pin, um, you know, the throwing of the plates, the, it's, it's become a stereotype. Partly because a lot of guys are perhaps embarrassed about coming forward and saying, I've been abused by my wife for all these years. So, so it is it's a bit of a, uh, you know, it's a difficult area for a guy to admit that. I would guess that most, that most domestic violence, unreported domestic violence, is committed by women. The survey that we're doing at the moment, um, we I think the average duration of abuse lasts for about say four and a quarter years, but the range is say from six months up to about twenty years. But the average is about four and a quarter years, um, and then we also asked the frequency of the abuse, and, and I was actually quite shocked um, because about eighty percent of it is in the realms of weekly or daily. Now, if you take it on a weekly one, that's say once a week, that's 50 odd times a year. And if you take it four years of abuse, you're talking 200 times before that blow. And a lot of these blokes don't even call the police. So it was over a period of 10 years. Initially, it was quite infrequent and it was really only looking back that I realized where, that, it, that the abuse started fairly early on. Um, as time went on, it became more frequent um, and at the point where I left, uh, it was happening on a daily basis. Well, in fact, I think even the 96 survey said that women were five times more likely to call the police than men. And when men do call the police, with anti-male sentiment in our society so prevalent, will they even listen? I'm doing a fun run, dressed as a bottle of Cinzano. <laughs> For all the little battered husbands of Gateshead. Battered husbands? Is that a serious problem in Gateshead? Did you know that every 38 minutes, some poor little fella, who when his wife calls his name, cowers in a corner and shits his pants? Wow, I, I didn't know that. If you don't believe me, log on to the website www.chinnedbythemissus.co.uk <laughs> We got a call about a disturbance. Can we come in? It was just verbal. I didn't realize it had gotten that loud. Mind if I speak to the boy, man? Go ahead. I'm gonna have to talk to Vanessa. Everything okay? Yes. Are you feeling threatened or unsafe? Lord, no. No. The man is ignored. Men can only be guilty of violence or not guilty of violence. Only women or children can be victims of violence. She said she'd hit him around the back of the head with something nasty and blood was flowing from the back of his head. So he called the police and uh, when the police got there, she just screamed and shouted, oh, he was, he, was trying, he was going to try and kill me, so I did that to him. And the copper arrested him. He said, well, hang on, I'm the... And he's, of course, then he was done for resisting arrest. Now, this was a social worker telling me all this. She, you know, she had no axe to grind. She said, no, she said, it's, it's skewed against men. She said they, they just don't want to believe that men can, can suffer. And if a woman could put up the flimsiest um, pretext for the fact that he's done it, she'll put it up and they'll want to believe her. Here on Breakfast Television, 
A male victim of domestic violence is interviewed. We're going to talk about domestic violence now. Uh, domestic violence with a difference. Uh, normally it's the stories of women. These are three women that we've featured on the, uh, the programme in the past. Uh, Marie Bloomer. She was physically abused for eight years by her husband before he was jailed for 13 months. Claire Overton was slashed with a Stanley knife by her husband before he was uh, jailed for eight years. Just two of many examples. Uh, but each time we cover the story we get calls from men saying, don't forget us, we are victims too. And Mike is a, uh, a victim of domestic violence. But the crucial issue here is that this story is about abuse suffered by a man. Why are graphic images of female victims shown? Could you imagine that being done in reverse? A story about female victims showing only photos of injured men? Who is trying to belittle this story?